All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we're still out on the uh, C30 LS swap, and uh, I think today I'm about to start pushing some wire through the firewall. Um, I went with the BP Automotive, uh, the full kit. Uh, it came with everything, uh, the O2 sensors, um, mass airflow sensors, um, the PCM, the wiring harness, the dual fans. Um, I did the whole nine, um, but uh, I'll, I'll give you a rundown on what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I don't really know 100%, but uh, I got the glove box torn apart. I've got the old um, PCM out. You know, it was a TBI truck, so I got the old the old uh, PCM out, and I've got the old um, mount for the PCM out. I've been kind of sticking my new one up in there. Doesn't seem like there's much room with the AC in there, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm fixing to do. Um, but um, that's about it for right now. Uh, if you can see, that hole right there is where I'm gonna feed everything through the firewall and uh, send it towards the motor. And I guess the wiring harness is back here. And this is our wiring harness. Um, as most know, uh, you've got to go through the inside. So these got to stay on the inside of the truck. So everything, all the connectors, uh, everything, everything that goes in the firewall or inside the engine bay has to go through the firewall. So that ought to be pretty fun. So we'll uh, we'll get started on that, and uh, I'll probably put you on time lapse. Uh, that way you're not seeing me struggling, working, struggling, working, more struggling than working. So, um, there you go. Uh, I'll put you on time lapse and uh, we'll get started. See you back. All right, so here's our gaggle of wires. Basically everything from here down has to go through the firewall into the engine bay. Shouldn't be too terrible, I hope. Um, but then the rest of this stays in the cab. So this is all your your gauge wires and all that good stuff. Um, well, I guess not all of it. This fuel pump wire has got to go through. Uh, and the switched ignition. I'll probably put that in the uh, engine bay also. So, all right. Well, I guess all this got to go through. That's the fans. Fans got to go through. The OBD2, I'll keep on the inside. So I guess this roll of wire stays on the inside. See, that's, um, yeah, OBD2, OBD2, brake switch, speedometer, and attack all right here. And the rest of this is fans one and two, and fuel pump and switched ignition. So, all right, well, let's get on it. All right, guys, we got some wire through the firewall. Um, it wasn't the easiest, uh, one person, but it all came through. Uh, didn't break no connectors, didn't tear nothing up. Um, so I'll give you the uh, rundown on, well, I guess I don't have the fan wires through and I don't have the, there was something else I didn't run through, the bare wires, let's see. Um, the fuel pump and the switched ignition I haven't run through yet 
and uh, the fan wires I haven't run through yet. Since they were bare, I was just kind of letting them chill for right now until I was ready for them. All right, uh, so that's everything through. It's just all pushed through on the passenger side right now, just chilling. I'm gonna start laying everything out and uh, figuring out uh, where it needs to go and just lay it. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, stick it on there just yet. I'll plug everything in because I don't want to plug and unplug, plug and unplug if I've got anything crossed over or tugging. Uh, so we shall see. All right. Uh, put you back on time lapse and uh, we'll get after this thing. All right. All right, guys, so I have started um, actually plugging some things in. Uh, everything uh, seemed to work a lot easier than I was expecting. So um, the harness went in. I, I actually took the um, injector and coil uh, plugs, and I ran it right beside the uh, intake and under the fuel rail right here. And I'm just going to take the plugs and lean them over kind of like right over the fuel rail it's not back all the way but just lean it right over the fuel rail and just plug it right in so I'm trying to tuck the, the harness under the cover as much as possible so the only thing really hanging out would be just plugs I think this plug will actually be back here right there so another uh, injector plug sorry for I'm sitting up in the engine bay while uh, while trying to get this on video here. So um, another injector plug. And last injector on the passenger side. Oh, I'm not gonna force it. I'll check on that in a little bit. Um, but that's kind of the way I'm going. I've got the um, the idle air control and the throttle position sensor already plugged in i've got the uh, injectors on bank one all plugged in i've got the the uh, coil packs just just chilling right now i got three grounds in the back there's two but there's actually three grounds back here um back there there's the knock sensors the plugs hanging out the back and uh, let's see what this is this is uh map sensor and ac pressure transducer so those are just going to kind of hang over the front for right now kind of just chill and these right here is uh the starter lug so it's a starter lug here and then this is the uh, crank camshaft uh, position sensor so both of those go down right by the starter so i've got them just droop down there And then the uh, 4L80 harness, uh, it's, I've just got it just dangling right now. I just, just dropped it down the back of the motor right here. Um, these Tejas mounts make it a dream to work with. Uh, so you got bank one, O2 sensor, I just got her hanging down. Uh, bank two is also just hanging down on that side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just hanging down. So. Uh, that's it for right now um got some of the stuff plugged in i'm probably going to get up under the truck and uh i'll get the transmission plugged in um i was just nervous leaving all these plugs kind of leaving these plugs open on the motor since it's been raining a lot here in birmingham so i didn't want to uh think there would have been any problems but I just want to make sure I wasn't going to mess up any plugs or get any plugs corroded um, oh also a uh, temp sensor and alternator plug right here so 
mean, this uh, this wiring harness has been really nice, really really clean wiring harness. So let me show you what I got in the truck right now. So I've got uh, still I got my fan relays that got to go through, my switched ignition and my fuel pump uh, wires still got to go through, and uh, some of this is gonna go through I think. No, all this all this right here stays in the truck. And this stays in the truck, and so do the PCM hookup wires. So, all right, uh, I guess I'll slide back under the truck and uh, get the uh, transmission hooked up. So, we'll uh, catch you back on that here shortly. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I am back. Um, man, this BP Automotive is pretty flipping sweet. Um, I've got a few things left to hook up. I, I don't have them installed yet, so I don't have my intake on. I don't have my alternator on. Um, I don't have my starter on as of right now, so I'm just gonna leave the plugs just dangling. Uh, but man, what a what a sweet harness. Uh, just just hanging through the firewall right now. I still haven't done nothing on the inside yet. Um, so there's the, the few that I got hanging right there. Um, but it is in, man. It, it, I even got down there and hooked my transmission up. I've got it on time lapse. I did my O2 sensors. I did my input and output speed sensors. I even put my, well, while I was down there, I made it, made the trip worthwhile. I uh, like it to see, but I put my uh, factory shift linkage on uh bolted right up man real 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 simple very nice glad i went with the 4l80 cost me a little bit in the um, up front but i think it's going to be worth it long long run um i've got the fuel rails out there get or the, the fuel line the hard fuel line going down the rail i've got them out they're getting rained on right now um i'm gonna run some brake clean through them and uh Let's see, run some brake clean through them, run some compressed air through them. I got a new filter already for the, uh, obviously the regular square body filter. And, uh, man, we're going to put some fuel lines on this thing. Um, well, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But, man, I'm rocking and rolling on this thing, and uh, I can't believe it. Um, accessories, I, I don't know if I'm going to buy a new water pump or just be a cheap ass and put my water pump that came out of the truck back on it clean it up a little bit put it back on it i, I still don't know what i'm going to do just yet um obviously i'd like to save the 200 bucks that it costs for a uh water pump and you know all the, all the goods but i also i would hate to put that thing back on there and then six months down the road, my water pump go out and then I have to take everything back off to get to my damn water pump. But uh, I think uh, I also got the battery tray completely installed now. So that thing is, it is in there. Turned out great too. Um, I am, I think I'm going to grab my, my truck cables, clean them up just a little bit. The factory battery cables to the truck. And uh, I think I'm gonna start running some power and ground wire on this thing. And uh, man, I'm gonna get this thing. So my goal is by the 4th, the 4th of July, get this thing running. 
I don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, I'm definitely gonna try. So, all right. Uh, stay tuned for some more. Like, subscribe, follow, all the good stuff. Uh, support what I'm doing here. Uh, I am doing this on my own, in my driveway, no experience, no nothing. And uh, it's working out pretty damn good. So, catch you back. Thank you.